Hi everyone, my name is Carla Guayo. I am the program director at Arts for All Florida, a nonprofit arts organization. I'm here today with Dr. Clint Randalls, one of our instructors of our upcoming Animation Gets Real virtual summer camp. This camp is open to teens ages 13 to 22 with autism and related disabilities. Dr. Clint Randalls is Associate Professor of Music Education in the School of Music at the University of South Florida. He is a prominent scholar in innovative teaching methods who will familiarize campers with digital music making and animation voiceover techniques. Dr. Randalls will introduce students to a variety of iPad apps, including GarageBand, Drums XD, and Thumb Jam as they create their original pieces. Thank you so much, Dr. Randalls, for being here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I, I love Arts for All Florida, so this is fun. I wanted to start by discussing how musicians work with animators to create harmonious media. Well, the, the beautiful thing about animation and working with um, working from the music and sound um, perspective is that it's all about telling a story. So art really, if, if you distill it all down to the, the core is the human condition. I mean, we all live our lives and, uh, you know, we deal with the same struggles, all of us, and we have the same sort of things in life that give us joy and meaning and purpose. And um, so at the core of everything that we do at Arts for All Florida, everything that we do in music and animation is art and that elevates the human condition. So what we try to do with animators is tell a story. And so uh, with Danny, the kids uh, work on a storyboard. So they have characters and they have um, themes and things that the characters do. And, it, and of course, all of that art reflects our lives. And so, you know, the most meaningful stories are ones that have, uh, we personally can latch on to, oh, we, we can feel the way that characters feel. Um, then we're right at the core of what art does and why it's special. So um, the music and sound part of the equation, it just accentuates the story. It, it um, sometimes gives the characters voices. Um, so the, the uh, voiceover literally is their voice. Uh, and other times it's music that um, it's kind of in the background, but, but it um, accentuates the parts of the story that need to be uh, brought out. I've always worked just to try to make things easy for animation because that's why kids typically come to the camp is for, for the animation piece. But what I've always been surprised and kind of, uh, you know, one of the goals that I have is to show them that they can also be a musician. So they signed up for animation camp, uh, but they, can all, they also have lots of musical ideas, even if they haven't had lessons on the piano or the clarinet or the trumpet, um, they have musical ideas because they've been alive in the world for a long time. So yeah, it's, it's fun to bring the music and sound piece to the equation. When did you join the Animation Gets Real team and what drew you to teaching this particular group of students? So the program's coordinator came to an iPad band concert. Uh, I, I, I was in for seven years an iPad band here at USF called Touch. And uh, we played all over the country. Um, I was on ESPN with that band playing my iPad as an instrument. So Wendy came to the concert uh, the programs coordinator, and um, she didn't send me an email or call me on the phone. She came to my office door and knocked, and so she had a captive audience. I was there on the other side of the door, and um, she said, you need to do something with the students that we serve, so I started teaching a weekly camp where um, I was the I taught the iPad as an instrument. So we had a bunch of iPads and I had kids jamming. I used to write musicals with kids and um, I used to coach rock bands and um, teach songwriting. And so I've always had a creativity component to my teachings. What I, what I love about this population is just, you know, some of them don't know how talented they are. They, they don't know that they have lots of wonderful musical ideas and that in a short period of time, um, I can give them all the tools and, and they can surprise their parents. You know, that's really fun on Fridays when we're sharing uh, the work and, and parents are looking at their kids saying, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I didn't know you could write music. Or sometimes it's, um, you know, there are musical parents that didn't know that their child with a disability um, could do that, could do that like them. So on the iPad, um, kids record tracks, you know, their particular instruments, they record uh, vocal tracks and different sounds, and then they are able to mix them um, and create different various levels. You know, sometimes 
levels go up, they can pan them left and right, they can add effects. This is just a little bit of an extension of what we'll do at camp. So songwriting is certainly a pathway that all of the campers can pursue. And um, digital audio workstations like uh, GarageBand that we'll be using at camp um, are the industry standard. And it's one of the things that we love to talk about with, um, you know, with, with the students that we serve is that, you know, you, you can get jobs and do things career-wise in the audio and the media sphere. And a lot of times you are working from home, you're working remotely. That idea um, is how musicians are working right now. That's, that's why, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of artists are putting out double albums, triple albums, because they've been at home for so long. And for our viewers listening right now, uh, just so you know, for our Animation Gets Real camp, if you don't have an iPad at home already, or some kind of tablet device, we do have an iPad loaner program. Uh, so not to worry, it is included in the cost of camp. So it's uh, first come first serve and on a need basis, if you don't have an iPad at home, we can get you one before the start of camp. I know that um, our team at, in the School of Music, we're, you know, we are advocates of inclusion and, um, you know, we wanna see kids who, um, you know, have the desire to do this, ha have accommodations within the school of music, uh, within a, you know, a prestigious school of music environment. So it's exciting, exciting time to be at USF. Coming on to this camp virtually, uh, Danny kind of talked about this the other day as well, that we are all connected and the world becomes just like a little bit smaller. Now we can accommodate many more of our constituents who may not have been able to make it down to Tampa or to the state of Florida for this camp previously. Uh, Dr. Randalls, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited for the start of camp and to see both returning students and any new students coming and registering. Families, don't forget to register for our 2021 Animation Gets Real Summer Camp. Camp dates run from Monday, June 7th to Friday, June 11th, and you can register on our website at artsforallflorida.org. That's A-R-T-S, the number four, a-L-L-F-L-O-R-I-D-A dot org. Thank you so much. And we are so excited to get started. I'll see you soon, Dr. Randles.